Hi guys! Welcome back to my vlog. Today, I'm cooking alugbate. So in English, they call this Malabar spinach or basella. I know many people don't like eating alugbate because of its texture, but I promote eating this because of its high dietary fiber content and it's a low-calorie vegetable. This is actually my favorite green leafy vegetable. You can do all sorts of things with this, but today I'm uh, gonna teach how to cook it with beef to make a simple dish that you can eat with or without rice. So come, join me in the kitchen! Okay, so before cooking, we need to prepare our alugbate by plucking out the leaves and including some of the shorter and younger stems. So while we're doing that, let's talk about alugbate. No? So I went to this website called Stuart Exchange and um, we're gonna talk about some of the medicinal uh, information about alugbate. It says here that alugbate is a succulent, branched, smooth, twinning, herbaceous vine, several meters in length. No, so stems are purplish or green. So as you can see here, and younger stems are a little bit purplish. Now, yung stems sa baba, I don't really include this anymore. No? So it can be a little tender when you cook it. So it's, it can be found throughout the Philippines. It's very cheap in the market. No? Usually, you can um, buy it in tale. Katali, okay? Bound by a rubber band. Alright. And then, it says here that it has prehistoric introduction. It also occurs in other parts of tropical Asia, in Africa, and Malaysia. Which is... Ah, no! And Malaya. Okay. Sabi dito sa properties, it's an apparent demulcent, diuretic, emollient, laxative, and rubefacient. It's mucilaginous when cooked. I guess mucilaginous means it's madulas. Um, maybe that's why many people don't like it. Uh, just similar to okra. It's, a it's madulas. And then, studies exhibited androgenic, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antioxidant, anti-ulcer, antiviral, central nervous system depressant, hepatoprotective, and wound healing activities. So, so many medicinal properties. So, I hope by now, I'm starting to convince you to consider including this in your diet. So, for, for the bigger leaves down the stems, I just pluck it like this but for the top leaves I include the stem because you have more fiber on the stem all right its uses it's a common market product popular leafy and stew vegetable and a good substitute for spinach yes because you know spinach can be a little expensive although this got me thinking because um, I think this month I made, uh, last month I made spinach pesto, so maybe I'll try making alugbati pesto and convince me more people to use it in pasta. Who knows? Hmm. Um, both the young shoots and stems are eaten, yes. And a poultice of leaves used to reduce local swelling. Hmm. Decoction of leaves used for its mild laxative effects. Pulp leaves applied to boils and ulcers to hasten suppuration. And sugar juice of leaves useful for cataral afflictions in children. Medyo na intriga ako doon. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng cataral inflictions? I'll search that later. Okay. In India, used in hemorrhagic diseases as a tonic. Also used for burns and pyritic skin lesions. In Nigeria, it's used for, for hypertension. No? And in Cameroonian folk medicine, it's used for malaria. 
Wow. Hey, I think I'm halfway. <laughs> In Ayurveda, use for hemorrh hemorrhages, skin diseases, sexual weakness, ulcers, and laxative in children. Okay. Now, the, the roots and leaves are used for the removal of afterbirth, stomach pains, and increased milk production. Oh, so it's good for lactating mothers. So in Nepal, the leaf juice is used to treat hypertension. Wow. And used for fertility enhancement in women. In Thai traditional medicine, the mucilage is used as application for bruises, ringworm, and laboring. Okay. In Antilles, leaves considered good maturative as cataplasm. Diba? And it says here in their website that the American cosmetic uses no, fruit used by women as rouge for cheeks and lips. Also as dye. Wow. Baka naman pwede tayo tayo mag makeup tutorial no? using lugbate. Veterinary can also use this. Ah, ground leaves rub on the human hand to introduce the preparation into the animal vagina every morning for the treatment of sterility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ang galing. It has so many more medicinal properties. So, I think this should already convince you enough no? that alugbat is really a good leafy vegetable to put or to include in your diet and you know it tastes good that's it i like it because it tastes good i have one more to go one more tale to go but so far with about three tale of the vegetable i'm able to um fill already a bowl but this is gonna wilt so we're reducing this to half the size when it's cooked and we're still including beef huh? okay. ng information about it hmm. I found a website that asks alugbate, spinach or not. <laughs> so actually, yun yun, they, they call it Malabar spinach. Although it's actually a climbing vine. It's a vine. We're so lucky because there's a nearby Talipapa. There's a small stall here um, in the neighborhood. They sell alugbate. But it, this is easy to find in the market and even in the grocery. school. I, I eat this even as a child. But syempre, yung ating cooking skills, eh talaga namang nag-mature na ng konti nung high school. So I started cooking this in high school. Uh, my mom loves this. I think we're the only two people who, who eat this in the house. And we use it in salads as well. So you just have to blanch it with hot water, then you add some vinegar and um, tomatoes and uh, red onions, and it's good to go. It uh, makes a good salad. Alright, so I'm gonna discard all of these stems and I'll be washing this, uh, these leaves. Huh? So, okay, tapos, 
we'll be preparing the other ingredients. Okay, so with all the ingredients ready, I think we're ready to cook. But first, I'll tell you what I'll be using. So you need to have your alugbate leaves washed very well. So I'm using about one bowl of alugbate leaves and then one eighth cup of ground beef. Um, so for this much alugbate, I'll be using this much ground beef because this is still gonna shrink. This is gonna be reduced. And then uh, about two tablespoons, so about six cloves of minced garlic. Now this is optional. I have grated some ginger. This makes about one tablespoon of grated ginger. Again, this is optional, but I like my dish fragrant and I love ginger, so I'm using it. And then, of course, pepper to taste. Some soy sauce, so this is my substitute for salt. It will add a little color to, to the ground beef. And, siyempre, olive oil. Okay, so, let's get cooking. So the first step is to saute the garlic and ginger in a small saucepan. I'm sauteing them together so that the garlic doesn't burn. Just want to unleash its flavor but not burn it. So once it's a little brown, I'll be adding the beef. So now I've added the ground beef have to make sure that you mix it well. There. So I've seasoned it with ground pepper and now I'm adding about 4 tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, and mix it well. When your mixture is dry like that, you can now add about a cup of potable water. Okay, and we're gonna let that simmer for a while. Okay, so now that our mixture is simmering, I guess we can now add our alugbati leaves. Okay, so make sure that you first put this on low fire. You want to avoid overcooking the alugbati leaves. So now you put this on top. There you go. And I'm going to give it a good mix. Mm, I can smell it already. The leaves cook very fast. So, when you add the leaves, you know that you're about to finish. It smells good. Okay, so I've been mixing for around a minute. So, ayan na. Ready in less than 20 minutes. You have your alugbati with giniling. You can eat this with or without rice. It's so good. So, this is going to be my lunch, guys. Alugbati with giniling, no rice. Manatin. <laughs> it's really good with ginger. Try it. Mm. It's konting ang hang yung sabaw pero mm. very Asian. So thank you guys for joining me in this cooking vlog, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.